गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू कॉफ़ी टाइम आई एम ट्यूलिप एंड दिस इज द ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ जुलाई विच मीन्स द ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी इज मोर देन हाफ ऑफ इट्स रनिंग टाइम एंड इट्स नॉट ओनली रनिंग राइट इट्स प्रैक्टिकली ऑन ए रोलर कोस्टर राइड with the covid-19 keeping us inside but through my whole life i've tried to find a positive side to everywhere where life dumped me or carried me and believed that we can still wait for better times still wait for something good to come in the morning i woke up and it's poetry that hit me and i thought ah isn't this such a wonderful time for writers to write away but the soul wasn't happy because of all that's going around us with the virus near and dear ones being affected friends families colleagues people far away in other corners of the earth but this may not be happy times but love that is life life is love doesn't come with only happiness not only beautiful things the roses have their thorns right i so love didn't come love didn't hold us in life to experience only the beautiful things it's about experiencing the beautiful and the ugly things and as a writer i have found covid-19 to be challenging trust me you would think you were inside the house and you can write away all you want but the mind isn't functioning as you would like to put in your words but poetry helped poetry is beautiful thing i mean it comes from your heart you can express your thoughts in few words and since the modern poetry delves into many creative ways other than just rhymes or the hard disciplined placing of words you can really just say what you feel how you love or dislike the world is okay to be unhappy it's okay to cry but you can put all that through poetry so and i thought i'd share a few words about the books that i began to write and those came with poetry and what mattered to me it made me happy yes those were some trying times in life but i wanted to write a book this is one of it but it began with a very spontaneous decision i thought i want to write a book and at that time i lived in bangladesh and nobody would publish my english books because they didn't have too many readers so what i had to do was get some money and do the self publication i didn't have money either still don't not much anyway enough to get me by but i have learned not to slave after money because that takes the joy out of my life i got the bangles gold bangles that my parents had gifted me for my wedding took them in my purse and went off to the market to sell them what mattered to me at that time 
What made me happy at that time was the dream of a book that I can hold, that I can allow my children to hold. If by chance I died all of a sudden, death as you see now doesn't come with notices whatsoever. We all knew that, but we all realized that life, death, anything that happens to your life are not always coming with pre-notices. But at that time, it hit me that I needed to get my book feasible and it needed whatever resources I had. The gold bangles went to the market, I got my money and the first day I held my book, the joy that gave me the happiness that it came, gave me the springboard to write more. We need springboards made by ourselves to go on to the next day. Trust me, we need to do that for ourselves. The emotion inside, nobody can really tell you what makes you happy. We have to find ourselves as all expertise shows you, you have to know yourself first. And writing made me happy, poetry made me happy, and on the way came many more books. This one, collection of journal, a cute little book, a non-creative fiction, and the novel. But I would say they all begin with a one small step, with one book that made me happy. Then life has a way of opening your ways. When you trust it, call the universe, call it fate, call it God or creative force. When you share love and happiness with it, it bounces back with the same force. So let me read some poetry for you. I wrote this in the morning. And see, you are right. Coffee time couldn't come without some coffee. And guess what? My daughter-in-law had some cups with a hummingbird. And every morning when I see the hummingbird, I think of the sign it usually sends us, the abundance. COVID or no COVID, simple holding of this cup, the picture of the hummingbird, it makes me happy. And yum. Mmm. That was good. So ready for some poetry? Let's go. This is something I wrote in the morning. I am sorry. I am sorry that love turned into hate, bitterness and more till we parted and walked on our separate ways. I'm sorry that beautiful love had to consume each other's till we found separate ways. But I'm not sorry that we had found our own paths in our parted ways. It was useless to spread negative energy till our last breaths. I'm sorry that love turned into hatred, but I'm not sorry 
that we fell in love on you. Let's go to another one. Ready? Me. I'm sorry to say I can't custom myself to your needs or wants. Can't chisel my emotions. Can't color my hair. Rouse my cheeks. I can't at all custom myself to your will. I can't custom myself beyond the dignity of the self that I am. Accept or reject. I shall return to my creator from where I came and who made me as I am the me. Thank you. Thank you for being with me and on this summer day it's a rainy sky but we can go back to more poetry. Ha! I can hardly wait. Here's the pen and here's my journal that says joy in the ordinary. Perhaps it's time more than ever to find joy within the wall life and to rethink of all the abundance that waits outside the door. Thank you. You in my heart. You in my heart, my love, are just the you. Beyond descriptions, beyond words, beyond feelings. When I say I love you, it's not a word that's only spelled in alphabets. It's far more than that. When I look at the flowers, it's not just the flowers. It's the seasons going by. When I look at the mountains, I travel beyond horizon. You still are in my heart, beyond the you, beyond what we see, what we feel. You, my love, are who I am. For you are my being. The sweetest thing to have ever happened. In the spring, seasons, in green, green is the color it seems that carries the seasons, whether up on the weeping willow, on the bushes and thickets and the trees, green is the color that brings the seasons, it seems. Green turns to brown, oranges, and red when fall comes. And still we dream of the green left behind in summer. Green is the color that still lingers on our mind. When summer goes, fall comes and winter enters the scene. Beat with color color. Be it yellow, brown, be it blue, or purple. 
green is the color of seasons it seems even when snow covers the ground it endless snow white and white in our dreams we still dream of the greens all our dreams come in seasons they find life in the greens or beyond the perennial tulips daffodils and all sleeps the color green green is the color of seasons it seems you in my soul my soul holds you like the tree the oak holding a spruce on its trunks loving caring through seasons happy and sad snow and cold spring fall monsoon and rain I hold you in my soul for I'm just like a tree giving you life within me we live together we die together through winter summer and spring but I keep holding you just stay with me you are in my soul Thank you to Amos Media and this great team. Thank you, Faith, for doing all the editing of my shows. It's what a joy to be able to do this when life has challenged us to stop in many ways. Thank you. I'm Tulip. Till we meet again.